From Jane and Finch to the Grey Cup and back again, Argos lineman Jamal Campbell was back in the old neighborhood today and brought the CFL's top prize with him. Talia Ricci has more on his journey. It was a step back in time for Toronto Argonauts player Jamal Campbell as he walked through the doors of his middle school, Grey Cup in hand. Delivering an inspiring speech about determination, focus and challenging stereotypes. Being a black man from a certain neighborhood, a lot of times people, they try to treat you differently, right? Um, the way I dealt with that was, I just, I, I just positive. One that left a mark on the students. There's moments in school where you're like, how am I going to do this? But watching somebody like Jamal pursue his dreams and fulfill his, his hopes, it's wonderful. And the staff. So it's very inspiring to have a former C.W. Jeffries student uh, who is showing the city that, you know, C.W. Jeffries is an awesome high school that you can come from and do great things. Campbell says that by showing off the Grey Cup around his childhood neighborhood, that he could maybe even inspire kids in this area to chase their dreams. This hopefully can motivate kids to do whatever they want to do, whatever their passion is, because if I can do it, they can do it. Anyone can do it. <laughs> Campbell says it was important to him to bring the cup back to where his roots are, the intersection of Jane and Finch, a neighborhood he says provided him with many opportunities. There's a lot of success in Jane and Finch, and this is just one of the, the pieces of success. So hopefully people can see this and they can, they can believe in Jane and Finch. Bringing that success back to the place he was raised. Talia Ricci, CBC News, Toronto. Very cool. Now, earlier today, Campbell brought the cup here to CBC Toronto. Is it heavy? Oh, it's it's pretty heavy. Yeah. I think after I think I chose not to work out this morning, so it's, I'm going to get a nice little workout out of this. It looks in good shape. I mean, sometimes you hear about things getting dented and knocked off and what have you. Ooh, a little loose on the top, maybe. Yeah, it's had it's had its uh, little escapades. <laughs> Is your name? Uh, <laughs> Campbell uh, says his name and the names of his teammates and Argo staff will be engraved on the cup before the start of the season, and that's when they get their championship rings. Congratulations.